Hello and welcome to Aardvark and Tuna. Hello. So today we're doing Kingdoms and Castle. Yeah, so what is this? Because this is from your Steam collection. It is. Uh, so this is just a, um, it's a little city building game. Uh, go with easy. Um, it's a city building game. Um, use yourself a land. Up. Uh, it generates land based on the seed that you type in. That one will do. Uh, WASD camera Q8. You're typing on the seed now. <laughs> All the sass. Good. All the sass. Uh, hit accept if you like it. Uh, name your kingdom. Banner. D20ville. I like it. You hear a little crackling in the background. That's don't adjust your sets because no one's done that for at least fifteen years. <laughs> it's just the hedgehog eating. Yes. So, um, build a keep to begin your kingdom. So yeah, this is a little town building game. I click on castle at the bottom. Rotate it with R before. Um, I think back to the. Might want to build a wall around it, so maybe not right at the very edge, but near the edge. Uh, oh, uh, actually, stay away from the light green stuff. Uh, with the yellowy green stuff, because that's bad for farms. You need some green to build onto farms and stuff. So, surely well, it's better to go on the yellow, then? Yeah, put it on the yellow. That's perfect. Put houses on the well, just not farms. Great. Acquired <clears throat> Hamlet. Yeah, so they'll build that. Um, yeah. Uh, have you played Banished or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's similar to that, except it's re... <laughs> I like, see. I haven't played this on hard, but uh, once you get reasonably well established, um, it, it's really difficult for the game to do anything to mess you up. Uh, yeah, don't bother with any of that. You want uh, town and food stuff first. You need roads to connect stuff. Uh, and you're gonna need some farms to grow stuff. Like you, you, you literally need roads to start. Build too far from roads. Um, plant some roads, don't you? You can't drag and draw a line. You have to place them in. Look, your little guys come out and build stuff. <laughs> you can zoom right in. Ah, oh, carry wood. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna need um a forest to quickly start getting. Trees. Do they need to be near trees? Yes. Oh, look, like there's some trees. <clears throat> oh, then. Right. Uh, build yourself a forester. Uh, uh, industry? Yep. Ah. Don't have enough wood or stone. So, uh, you can just manually um, click on tree, tell them to chop, and just general guys will go and chop down tree to get you wood. Uh, but to get some um, stone, you're going to need to quarry it from that stone that, that way. Big white, the big pale one. Yep. Any of the big pale ones you can quarry for stone. Black ones are just this. And that brown one is iron, which is... Huh. Um, yeah, designate a few more trees for chopping. See. Again, it would be nice if you could draw a box around drop all the down, but you can't. Oh, that'll uh, that'll get you going. You're gonna want to start building some hovel. Uh, you see the little homeless symbol for yep. everyone? That's because they're homeless. Who knew? Yeah. Uh, and it's winter. Good. The years don't last very long. Uh, it's it's literally about minutes, I'd say, for a year. Maybe slightly long, but not much. Right, so that ha that will house five people, which is useful, because you have five people. The dream. Hmm. Yep, you can speed things up with one, two, three. Uh, so you do get uh, attacks by Vikings and dragons, but the game is really Geared to be super easy, seems so. Even if stuff gets destroyed, build it. Fair enough. Right, put some farms down. Get some 
doing. You've got 32 out of 50 food bottom. Uh, if you start having more food than that, you'll need storage for it. You can see there's a reasonable number of buildings to build. Is this an early access, or is it...? No, not early access, but they are regularly updating it. I mean, it's really cheap. I think I paid something like Fiverr for it. And they've just updated it to add ports and bridges, stone roads, which I think would be quite essential. Ah, there's Brett Henry. He's happy to see a new farm built. Uh, if you click on the exclamation mark above you, then your advisors want to tell you stuff. He was having to build our new construction. Hmm. Fine. Hmm. Military was really useful. Uh, yeah, so you start building a little town. Uh, if you build another hovel, then um, pretty soon you'll get another five people into the hovel. Here you had two people visited, but no one. Nerds. Yeah, a lot of them. <clears throat> I mean, that's pretty much it. There's there's not a lot to the game. I mean, there's there's a nice selection of buildings to build. But it just seems like quite a relaxing thing. Yeah, I get it. You don't have to work very hard to make a successful little kingdom. Uh, and I mean, I've seen people on the internet trying to absolutely use the land as best they can. But just build yourself a little... Bimble. Yeah, I think I've got up to about 2,000 people. I've seen people on the internet get to about six. They run out of space. But yeah, I, I whizzed through the achievements of this. I haven't got all of them, but most of them. Uh, yeah, the, the game just go at your own speed. Like, rather than any stressful, just chill. Winter again. I guess we missed it, but they would have harvested the rain and brought it in. Oh look, there's someone carrying some grain to the hovel. Head of the household. How do I gather stone? Uh, you'll have to quarry it. Oh, is it a building? Yes. First one there, quarry. Has to go... Has to go next. Uh, you'll probably have to chop down the trees that are... Right-click to get rid of some. Well, I, I wanted to see the angle. Ah, okay. That's slightly annoying that you have to wait till that tree's gone. Carry on with the road. There, there are little niggles with the game, but nothing. Speed things up with. There you go. You don't have to wait for them to finish the road before. Uh, quarry. There it is. Boom. So now you'll start getting stone. They will, um, they'll assign some people to work there, but if you click on job priority in the bottom left, they will prioritise building, then farming, and stockpile working. Uh, I don't know where quarrying will be. But you can redrag them. Yeah, there's your quarry. So, uh, you might, it's going to take a little while before you... Build a forester. Stone. Um. Yeah, this is how the game continues. Oh, I need a bit more of this. Build a bit more, but it, I mean, I got. I'm quite used to things like Dim City Four, where it's like I need a new station. I've got to balance the budget. Everyone <laughs> happy all at the same time. Um, Look out for the roads, uh, maybe siphon off a bit of money from this school bus system if I can afford a new police station. It, this is fine. I think I'll have a new... A new head? No. Uh, they will start planting trees as well as um, chopping them. Give them road access. Road. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. The only stipulation with Forrester is it has to be here at least and, and, then, and then they'll start dropping but also planting fair enough go with another hovel 
Hovel boys. Okay. The double hoveler. Double hovel. Double double. Double hovel. <laughs> so, uh, you get nicer houses, obviously. You're still running on maximum speed, by the way. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there are, there are slightly nicer houses. Uh, you don't unlock anything as the game goes on. It's just, do I have the resources to build that or not? Everything is unlocked right from the start, so there's no end game content. Right at the start. There. But yeah, um, I thought for a fiver, worth a gamble. Yeah. Um, I saw it talked about on the internet. And uh, yeah, just axing. Right, I've been playing more of XCOM 2. Basically the opposite game. <laughs> yeah. Stressful, nail-biting strategy. Uh, and then this, which does the strategy. Um, there. Uh, no one's available to work on a new construction. It's fine. More people. Got. Fact. Peasants. Got a little bit of stone there. Uh, eventually, you start building walls uh, with archery turrets on them to fight off Vikings and dragons. Um, you can build barracks and then you can raise a hero that you have around in an RTS fight. Okay. Like they, they pick up uh, an army, uh, like you'll train an army and then attach them to a hero who will. But I've got to the point where I don't even need to bother because Vikings and dragons just throw themselves at my balls and die. Every, every so often I get Viking attack. And, oh, another one. Oh well. I'd suggest giving everything road access. Yeah, I can imagine that being quite useful. <laughs> yeah, well is good. Who knew? Crazy, right? Not me. That's a good spot for a well since you can't put it. I mean, you can do irrigation. That's it. Rowable, otherwise aren't. Going up the, uh, the corner. So yeah, I mean, pretty much seen what the game has to offer now. It's more of this. Go on. Like I said, I've I was hoping to show my save, but it doesn't loading on. Um, I've built up a couple of thousand people. I've got a nice little round of lake. Ooh! I know it's well fun. More hovels. 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 That's the way forward. Drop down that tiny tree if you want to put a hovel there. So yeah, I mean, look, you've got four hovels at the moment, and you've got 20 people. They, they just move in, don't care. Peasants coming in! Yeah, if you hover over the happiness, it tells you anything affecting that. Yeah, in the bottom left. Average oh. home happiness. Dragon sighted. Go back to normal speed. Let's see what he does. Barbie dragons. Mm. Not much you can do with the dragon. It takes ages to power and senses. Might get lucky and you might just be there to have a look and then go away. Should I get a stockpile? Is that a thing? Um, not running out of storage for anything at the moment. Um, Food's becoming an issue. Eh? Yeah, you need more food. Classic. Wizard need. Do you? Uh, you can build a windmill which enhances any farms around it. Windmill? 
Yep. Uh, and uh, if you want to store food, you need a granary. Granary. Oh dear. Oh. Congratulations! Congratulations, your farm is on fire. That wasn't even the dragon, was it? It just caught <laughs> on fire. They haven't even built they're, it they're, yet. They're chucking more wood on it! <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're throwing water on it. There you go. Dragon's gone. Yeah, he's leaving. Oh so, yeah, back to non-stressful music. Yeah, you've built yourself a little community already. But see how many trees the uh, the forest has, forest has planted. Well, keen. Arthur, Edward, and Alexander. Hard. We're out of food. Right. Well, you better hope it's a good harvest then. Can it be a bad harvest? Uh, not really, but you do get occasion. There we go. You get occasions where it rains and or uh, farms get flooded and don't produce any crops for that year. Oh, right. Hmm. You've got enough food for now, though. You could, uh, even though you've got your forester chopping tree, still designate other people to chop tree, get wood faster. Or there are pills you can take if you want to get wood faster. Aha! Penises. <laughs> Some wood boys. What are you gonna build next? Cottage and square. Cottage, just like two hovels, but twelve people, and and they have slightly more. Uh, like you're gonna want charcoal. Charcoal, mate. People want charcoal in their houses. I feel like going for coal because. Don't use charcoal that. Doing this fantasy world. Well, maybe I just don't know enough about charcoal. <laughs> if you want to know more about charcoal, like comment. This video brought to you by the Charcoal Advisory. I'm gonna build a, a new. Yeah, I think. Okay. So, I mean, for maximum efficiency, grid layouts, you can well, solve that. It's like a nice. Not quite at the stage of building a hospital, church, or anything. Get there. Yeah, there's those statues. I thought, like, statues would enhance things around them. As far as I can tell, they don't seem. Huh. They're just vanity problems. Forty-five beds and thirty-five people. Peasants. Yep, more peasants. Uh, you could try building a cottage. That'll bring in the peasants. Bait them in. Peasant bait. Shout out to peasant bait. Get the key. Moment, but numbers go up. Arms and stuff. Maybe an orchard. Or wood. One more wood. Oh, they are using now, though, for the. Charcoal. We get it, you vape. Go. Watch it there. Work there, growing apple. It's quite compelling, isn't it? Something about it. Yeah. It's not difficult, it's not complicated. 
Uh, it just <laughs> strangely. That food you just. What people want, you know. True, I've heard that. Have food that interests it. so far. So, shelter, oxygen. <laughs> Classic. God, Dave, you're so needy. <laughs> In fact, my online dating profile lists all the bottom row of Maslow's hierarchy. Oh, your charcoal maker is on fire because they don't have a well. Bye. Are they going to. They are getting water from the sea. Yes. I mean, it's a massive fire rip. Unsurprisingly. Yes. It is sort of on fire a bit. And it's, it's got things like the little details you get in City, like you can click on people, tells you their name and something about them, and what they're skilled at, uh, like as people get better at. But it doesn't have the depth of like that, not even of something like Banished, but then Banished was a lot harder than it. Have a baker now. Food. like it. Get some mad food. Yep. Aslo would approve. <laughs> What's the food until it's eaten? Yep. Just to over it, Sorry. to be Granary. Yeah, probably best to have it near the uh, fields and the granary. The housing. That will increase in uh, value. Yep, people like the smell of bread in the morning. Ah, it Italians. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's an older joke, but yes, I remember that one. Eager to sleep. Uh, same, same. Aren't we all? That's on Maslow's hierarchy of needs as well. I, my interest. I don't know why I'm talking about. Oh, get yourself a little baker. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna want a tavern, probably. Where to go and get shit. Like it. Lock there. Ah, you're going to need gold for it. So for that, if you look in castle, you need a treasure room. Start collecting. Okay. So you only 50 that. You're at 40, so that shouldn't be. 42. Okay. Nothing's using up stone. Now, there isn't anything that persistent, as I know. Um, build a mason, prepare for repairing, but stone just... And um, you don't even have to worry about it running out. Those quarries will indefinitely provide stone and iron. That's good. Oh, nearly enough now. Uh, you can do a thing to move those black rocks, but it costs quite a lot of... Oh no, you don't want to quarry mine. Uh, not that I'm going to need iron, but... I well, no, I... you'll need a, a blacksmith to actually employ the iron. Or you could build a port and trade it with any merchant should come in. Um. Yep. Got a lot more storage now, though, because of that granary. We were building some more houses, but I say build a um, build a tax collection. Yeah, I think that's get fifty stone in it. Thirteen. Ready. Quite a little time you've built. I've only got them bloody done it. Now let's tax the peasants! <laughs> if you... Come on. Whoa! 
refusing to get that last bit of... They know that you're going to tax them. Or hovel. Hovel it. Working there. Not getting that last bit of stoke. There we go, 50 stoke. facing away. It's fine. It's fine. They don't re Right, as soon as that's built, you can start claiming tax. I like it. Nailed it. <laughs> room for a hovel either side. Or more treasure rooms. Or more treasure rooms. Yep. Point. Um, you can build on shallow water. Build a pit. So, you're not restricted to edges of sand you can see. But it only goes out a certain way as shallow water before it comes to can't build. Also, you can't build bridges. Point the vexer. So that lake you've got there, yep. you couldn't build a bridge across the middle of it. Huh. Oh, one of your hovels is on fire. Classic. Classic hovel. It's alright, they've dealt. There's a well near. It was never. That's a good idea. Uh, supply water to mine and the quarry as well. Here's your tax. Uh, treasure room. Treasure room. That coming up. Done. There we are. Right, you can set the tax rate now. One. Yeah, their happiness dropped in. Better get them a tavern. No, 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 no. Keep taxing them. Otherwise, you can't afford a tavern. But if you hover over the happiness. Annoyed about plague. Right. Oh, yeah. Quite a lot of them have got plague. Nope. By the time you built it, though, they'd be dead anyway. Those peasants are just going to die. It's fine. They're replaceable. Haven. A bit more wood. Yep. Seven, Seven peasants have died of plague. It's fine. You've got 75. I mean, they weren't paying tax anyway, the bastards. 10% <laughs> loss. Especially for a plague. Yeah. Seen plagues? Oh dear. Three peasants left the kingdom. Well, this tavern will sort them right out. Dave, I'm, you're doing me a stress. <laughs> Fine. Once they have a tavern, they'll <laughs> start bitching about a church. But once they've got that, they'll be happy for it. Library. Uh, Library's... Uh... Oh, that hovel is on fire and it's not even fit. One little thing. Yeah. Off a village there. You can get to 100 people. Speed run. You've got 122 beds. Got the tavern. Have now. Virtual life. Got the gold for it. We just need the rest of the room. Very close on the stone and wood is easy. But the happiness has jumped up. Hammered? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? For a feudal peasant? <laughs> yeah, by dragons and plague? No Maslow back then. <laughs> Maslow's hierarchy was like, no, I don't even know. Don't even know. What the peasants... Where, where do dragons fit on that? I mean, no one needs dragons. You can have a library now. Well, sorry, I, I'd rather not burn burn down the the books. Well, not going to win you any prizes as. 
one more stone. They just don't want to. There we go. How did you get a choice between, like, library or a, um, church? Yeah. Uh, they work differently. Um, a library starts off with very little knowledge, uh, and the, the amount of knowledge it has uh, increases the happiness around it. But the longer it stays there, the more knowledge it has. Happiness it will supply. I know he built it next to the expensive. Treating the rich differently before, are we? Oh, I could build another one over there. <laughs> they can have a they can have a road. Library Street. It's not far. They can travel. Oh, they, oh I can make a little pass here. Yeah, you could. Except for that well you put in the way. Ah. Uh, you can easily delete stuff. Click on it, um, click demolish, and you get the resource back. It's fine. In that way, eh? <laughs> Convoluted. It's what the peasants want. Yep, fair enough. You're the ruler. Build roads where you want them. Not chopping that down. That's in fact new trees since it started designating. Yeah, that happens. There you go. Oh, 97 people. I was just so happy. Yeah. Well, since you've got them a tavern and a library, so they get pissed and things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what more could they want? Windmill now. Enhance the farms. Only enhances the ones directly around. Put it there. Hooray! Burgeoning. We did it, D20 Bill. <laughs> Alright. I think, yeah. we, I think that's good enough to wrap it up there. So, this has been Kingdoms and Castles. Yeah, it's a nice little game, isn't it? Quite chill. Yeah, if you, if you like Banished, but it was too difficult for you, or too stressful, I recommend checking this out. Right. Right, well, there we go. Let's burn it all down. Yes. <laughs> so, until then... I've been Aardvark. And I've been Tuna. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>